Welcome to Peter King's Training Camp Tour presented by Die Hard Batteries and Advance Auto Parts. Peter King here in Denver at Broncos Training Camp and I just watched a joint practice between the Broncos and the Dallas Cowboys. A pretty spirited joint practice, a lot of fights. But the one thing that I was watching was Russell Wilson and coming in from his right consistently all through first-team offense versus Dallas first-team defense was Micah Parsons. And it was a great duel. Parsons got him a few times. But Russell Wilson hit Jerry Judy once, hit Cortland Sutton down the field once, hit two or three other lengthy throws. And I think he came out after this practice saying this was a great day for our offense because we finally see what it means to install a new offense, to come up against a good defense, and to really be pressured and to come up with some big plays. So that's one one observation I had, that the even without the injured Tim Patrick, the wide receiver who – Uh, was going to play a very prominent role in the offense and is now out for the year with a torn ACL. The the, the offense is going to be explosive enough, I think, with Cortland Sutton and Jerry Judy and at some point early in the year, uh, K.J. Hamler, who really was drafted a couple of years ago here to be their version, sort of a poor man's Tyreek Hill coming off a terrible injury early last year, tore an ACL and a major hip injury on the same play. So he's been practicing some early on. I don't expect him to be full speed early in the season, but as the season progresses, I think you're going to see K.J. Hamler also playing a significant role in this offense. You know, the one other thing, after talking to Nathaniel Hackett, uh, the new coach of the Broncos, I think the one thing that you have to do when you take over a program, especially when you take over a program with a new quarterback and a franchise quarterback, is that you need to get go back and forth with that guy. You need to get on the same page. It's very, very famous slash infamous that Russell Wilson wanted to run a lot of his own show in Seattle, the old let Russ cook stuff. What I found is that they are compromising on a lot of the things that Russell Wilson wants and that Hackett wants. But I think the biggest thing you're going to see, you're not going to see Russell Wilson run around around as much trying to till his dying breath to make something happen. I think you're going to see him settle more in the pocket and make plays with what Nathaniel Hackett believes is an offense and a receiving core who's always going to have someone open. You know, one last thing about fantasy impact. Late in this draft, if I could, and I know we've talked about K.J. Hamler, I don't think that the fellow people in your league are going to want to take him early on in one of the last two or three rounds. I think take K.J. Hamler, and you'll be very, very happy. Maybe not immediately, but soon uh, during this season. In Denver with the Broncos, this is Peter King. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.